Opioid crisis in Houston knows no boundaries. It affects every suburb, every race, and every income bracket. But now a new program developed right here in Houston is getting national attention for how it treats addicts right where they live and use. Health reporter Haley Hernandez talked to a former addict who says this program saved his life, and mm -hmm. she's revealing how others can get help. This it will ruin my life. This is one of the low points of opioid addiction. Houstonian Adam Schiefelbein is recording this confessional, saying he knows these pills will I ruin his it. life, but we all know what he's about to do anyway. I think this is a moment that a lot of people don't understand. It's like... If he looks like a criminal, it's because he was. Dealing drugs, doing drugs, went to jail, lost relationships, jobs, homes. Six months ago was rock bottom. Oh, good boy. But this is him today. I have a house. You know, like, I'm not living in the back of a car anymore. I, I went and visited my, my mom for Christmas. How did he do it? To answer that, you need to meet Jessica Yeager. She knows what it's like to be addicted and desperate to get out of the trenches. I know exactly how you're feeling. I've been there before, and let me help you. Let me love you until you can love yourself again. <laughs> She's getting names from the Houston Fire Department of known overdose cases and knocking on their doors. It's part of the program called HEROES, Houston Emergency Opioid Engagement System, started by UT Health Dr. James Langabeer. What I saw was there's the huge opportunity where people are coming into the emergency departments across the city and often for overdoses or in detox or they're drug seeking and we didn't know what to do with them. The problem with going to the hospital is that after they're discharged, they're sent right back here where they overdosed in the first place. They often get discharged after a couple of hours Hours of observation, they're back on the street and we'll see him again the next day. But with heroes, Dr. Langabeer says paramedics and recovery coaches like Jessica get them and bring them to rehab. Patients are immediately given buprenorphine, a medication to aid withdrawal symptoms and behavioral counseling. All you have to have is willingness. We haven't provided any other options out there. Last month, while speaking with the U.S. Surgeon General, who openly admits his own brother is in prison for crimes committed while addicted to opioids, he told me this may be the answer to saving lives. It really is a best practice, and I'm glad to see folks are using it in Houston. Dr. Langabeer says one in three patients they approach agree to join the program. Adam still can't believe how quickly it helped him change his life. When you showed up to meet Jessica, were you using that day? Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no day was started without some, some form of opiate. But the day he joined Heroes, was the last time he used. There was no, oh, it's going to take a minute or, you know, you're going to have to wait for a bed to become available. He was given a prescription, a place to live, and a path to sobriety. I have my life back, you know? Like, I'm actually living the life that I feel like I was intended to live. While the program connects the service to people who are admitted to the ER for a suspected overdose, there are ways you can contact them if you know someone in need of help. I've put the details on clicktohouston.com. You'll find it under the health section. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.